Hey, so it's been two weeks that we've had COVID, but we tested negative yesterday, both of us. So what does that mean for our uh, four mile run today? We don't know. Stick around, <laughs> find out with us. All right, so we're a little over a mile in, and we were asking each other, how do you feel? How do you feel? I feel okay. I'm uh, pretty congested, yeah. and um, I'm, I think, breathing a little harder than usual, and I feel like I'm running really slowly, and for us, that's saying a lot because we're pretty slow runners, yeah. so for me to feel like I'm running slowly probably means we're, like, barely moving. Um, but, I mean, we're like a mile and a quarter in and we're still running, so we're crossing the street. Yeah. <laughs> so that's good. Yeah. How do you feel? Yeah, it's weird. I'm oh, shit, that was a hole. Right. Sorry, yeah. I'm congested, but I'm running. It's weird. It's been so weird. Um, I'm kind of having trouble breathing. Like, like we haven't run in forever. It's been two full weeks. Two weeks. Which can feel like a long time yeah. but you know even though it's slow we're still running along oh man here we go We've reached a halfway point, two miles. So we're just gonna run back. Yeah. Um, I'm tired. With the exception of one little walk break just now, where there was a dog loose that the family was trying to corral, uh, we ran that whole two miles. Yeah, we did. And I not, don't know. Not too bad. This whole mile seemed to have been uphill, so I'm guessing we'll run this next mile downhill. Hey. And then we'll see what happens on mile four. Bonus. Or mile, how's that work? Fourth mile. Four. Yeah. Okay. Oh man. It's uh oh and the temperature's around fifty nine yeah. sixty degrees. It's, it's beautiful. Cool off. I don't think I could have done this if it was warmer. Yeah. Because I still feel pretty uh clammy, yeah. sweaty. It's weird too also before I forget. <gasps> uh our heart rates have been acting kind of weird. And I don't know, it could be just the watches, but <sighs> I, I think I kinda of feel it sometimes. Last it's, night going to bed my heart was like Ugh. Yeah. Like we'll hit moments of uh, our hearts racing for some reason. So yeah, it's, uh, we're trying to tell ourselves everything's fine. Yeah, everything's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. We'll, we'll, we're getting better. Everything's fine. All right, here we go. Mile three. Let's go. Oh. Oh man, we have we have one mile left, and oh gosh, we're doing it. Yeah, it's uh, it's slow, but we're doing it. My legs feel like lead. Oh well, we're doing it. One more mile. Okay. See you in oh, a little bit. I'm so sweaty. <laughs> it is week 14 of our marathon training for 2023. We're halfway We're through. halfway. 
halfway through <clears throat> and still kind of getting <clears throat> over the uh, effects of our uh, COVID. What a gift that was. What a great couple of weeks. Uh, but again, we, mm. we finally tested negative. Yeah. And we went for a run today. And if you watch the video, it was okay. It was slow. It was slow. You know, kind of disappointed <laughs> that all that training that we've been doing, you know, 13 weeks, uh, uh, it, it almost feels like, ugh, oh, we got to start all over again. But that's okay. So yeah, just another hurdle, right? We can get, we can get over it. Yeah. So, you know, we really, really would like to thank you for your uh, words of concern, your uh, words of encouragement, and your advice. We really appreciate it. And, you know, it's like it's being part of the running community, right? You don't, you don't necessarily feel like you're alone. So thank you very much. Um, and thank you, uh, everybody, for watching. Um, and thanks for subscribing. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, it, it's, it's, been, uh, mm -hmm. it's been great. Uh, hearing from you and also following up with uh, all of you. So <clears throat> we're uh, feeling a little better. Uh, we have a race coming up. We do. I haven't registered us for it yet, but uh, last week I mentioned, oh, there's a 5K next weekend that I was hoping to sign us up for. I got the dates wrong. It's actually next weekend from now. So um, I think after today's run, I think we can... We can do a 5K. Yeah. So uh, it's going to be a five mile week according to our training schedule. Um, so we'll see. We'll maybe, see. Maybe we can try running our fastest 5K. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We'll see how we feel about that. It was very slow today. And it was, it was weird. It was like when we started running, it was like my body forgot what to do. I felt really clunky and like none of it felt right. But I don't know. And we've been laid up for a while, you know, we haven't been uh, stretching and, you know, as much. I, I haven't, you know, it, it hit me uh, Way a, lot harder. Harder than <clears throat> me. a lot harder, but again, <clears throat> so hopefully we'll, we'll uh, sign up for and get in, uh, get in, mm -hmm. sign up for and get in that race for a week from today, Yeah, which will be week 15. Holy mackerel. Happy October, everybody. Yeah, look at that. Man, we are uh, getting closer <sighs> and closer. Yeah. So the week, though, the, like throughout the week, so last week I still did, I was doing low-key, mm -hmm. uh, like, workout stuff. No running, but very low-key <laughs> PT, just stretching, very short core workouts. And um, I did some yoga, but like slow flow yoga as my... Um, kind of cross training thing. This week, I bumped it up a little bit. Uh, did some 10 minute core workouts, did some actual PT, like my exercise, not just my stretches. Mm -hmm. And then you joined me on uh, some of those workouts too. So like David's inching back in yeah. too. Hopefully next week we can have our full sticker week again. Yeah, right. That's, Stickers. That's my thought. Stickers. That next week we'll get it back in Yeah, too. we will. We what will. a mess, man. I know. What a mess. Yeah, <sighs> Um, you know, and then uh, one of the things we wanted to mention, you had to start rationing your contact lenses. <laughs> so I've run in contacts and I normally get, you know, like a box or two a year and it lasts for just my runs. And actually this, oh, this has happened in the last few years. I need to, I need to be better about making my appointment. So by the time I remember like, oh shoot, I'm running out of contacts. It's been about a year. I look it up and I'm actually past the year point. Yeah. And so I try to make an appointment and then they can't get me in for like two months. So I end up like pushing it further and further back every year. Yeah. Well, this year, that appointment was supposed to be last week. Guess yeah. who couldn't go to the doctor <laughs> last week? We had to cancel. Us. Yeah. So I, we had to like bump it back out some more. So now I'm like super duper rationing my contacts. Huh. <clears throat> now, I also discovered, because I had to start running sometimes in my glasses... That while I love my glasses, I think they're really cute yeah. and like, yeah. you know, very eccentric looking, <laughs> you know, whatever. Uh, they don't stay on when I start sweating. Like, oh, yeah. I have to <clears throat> push them up constantly. So I decided to buy a, a little, um, uh, like, strap to hold them on. Huh. Had no idea how it would work. <laughs> and when we ordered it, I ended up getting... Lots more than just that one strap that I thought I was ordering. I got like five straps mm -hmm. and then also these little like 
little earpieces you can put behind your glasses mm -hmm. to help them stay on. And David ended up actually using those. Yeah. Um, and they both work great. Yeah. So like these yes. are my prescription uh, glasses for every day. Uh, but I, I wanted to get some uh, sunglasses too. So I got these prescription progressives. These are they uh, that I run in. But they slide. Transitions, not progressives. Oh, progressives yeah. are the oh, that's bifocals, bifocal, yeah. right? I'm sorry, transitions. So, you know, they get dark when they're hit by UV. <clears throat> but when I'm running, they slide. And, and it's really kind of bothersome. You know, if you wear glasses, that's the deal. So these little attachments, they went on. And, and they're they really like cool. They like little booties. Yeah, they look like little uh, uh, <laughs> witch's shoes. How seasonal are they? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> so they slide on and you kind of adjust where they go on your glasses. And I wore them today for the first time. They're really cool because they're just you know, rubber it didn't bother me at all. And my glasses didn't slide. So anyway, we'll put a link in the description because this whole pack was like 10 bucks. It wasn't much. And this is, <clears throat> this is what I ended up with. So my little ear thingies, ear pieces go in here and then I put it on my head. And then I actually end up having to like, with my little head, oh, take right. it all the way over, but it keeps them on yeah. and it's comfortable. I don't feel it at all. And yeah, it cool. works very well. Yeah, so, neat stuff. Good uh, purchase. Just thought we'd share that with you. Um, <clears throat> and then we are in the final stages of figuring out what we're wearing for <laughs> we're the We're in the medium stages yeah. of figuring out. Yeah. It could, it's still the subject to change. Yeah. <laughs> so, so here's the deal. Uh, you know, we're Tron fans. I think some of you might be Tron fans too. And we love the original Tron, right? It, it's, it's awesome. And the outfits uh, <clears throat> that they wear, they're really cool, but they're way too intricate. The design is just it's... too intricate. And it's so neat, but there's like... I don't think we could pull it yeah. off. But the new Tron, the, the, the second movie, also a fan of that movie. It's really, really cool. Um, the design is less intricate, but very recognizable. Mm -hmm. So what we were gonna do was go with that design on our clothing. <clears throat> and, and for whatever reason we fell into, oh, so we're gonna wear black because that was the predominant theme of the new movie. It's black with a, a blue kind of uh, accent. But we like the original movie. And also, it's been super hot the last two marathon weekends. So yeah. just in the event that it's hot again, I don't know that we want to wear want to do the magnets for heat. outfits. Yeah. So now what we've decided is we're gonna we're gonna try to wear do a mashup. Yeah. So a light color clothing with the bold design of the the second movie mm -hmm. on a, like reflective glow in the dark stuff. So that's what we've been doing. And you know, you, you have to try out your stuff before the day of the race. So one of the things you figured out is that your skirt mm. is not going to So I talked about the skirt that I bought a couple weeks ago. The one you wore today, right? Yeah, a <clears throat> couple weeks before we got sick. So yeah. actually like a month ago now. Yeah. Um, my last test was clipping my little water bottles on it to see if it would hold up. It did not. No. So just standing still in the kitchen, my skirt was already kind of drooping and I just did a, a few little, you know, trots across the house and yeah, there's no way, there's no way. So what I think I'm gonna do is order a skirt that's a size down. I'm gonna take a chance and go ahead and order it in the color that I need and hope that it works for everything that I need to yeah. work for. Worst case scenario, I'll end up wearing it under some, over under would be weird over some running pants yeah uh because i know that my pants are tight enough for sure to like hold up to like the stress of water bottles so we'll see hopefully it works out if not i'll just wear some pants yeah it's kind of funny too because you know we're probably gonna have to do some uh uh like dye some of our uh clothing to make sure that you know it's the color that we need and and then we're gonna have to do some experiments with uh a vinyl cutting and pressing mm -hmm. and stuff and it's like oh my gosh we're running out of time I know, that's crazy. <laughs> we're running we're running out of time <laughs> we only have a couple months to pull this off <laughs> <clears throat> so uh that's where we are yeah. uh you know we we're feeling better and that makes us feel great so you know we ran today the weather's been beautiful mm -hmm. uh we're, we're getting uh, mornings of very cool temperatures so you know we probably won't complain about the uh, weather for uh, for much longer um <clears throat> anyway there you go yeah
That's it. Oh my gosh. Uh, let us know how you're doing. We know some of you have, uh, have run some races, participated in some amazing things, or getting ready to do some uh, training, uh, all for that goal of uh, being together at the marathon in January. R really, really uh, exciting. Well, it's always <laughs> an adventure with you. See you in a week.